Hey friends, this is Kristen Fagan here and we are gonna do our February paint along in just a few moments. We are going to tap into our radiant heart, our loving energy, and give our love some wings possibly if you want to as well. So I'm just gonna get myself set up. I'm gonna pull out some paint. I'm working with acrylic paint. I have a water cup to wash my brushes. I have some an assortment of brushes to use. And I'm using, I think this is about um, 12 by 14, 14 by 11, somewhere around there, uh, canvas. Um, but you can use, you can go larger, you can go smaller with this project, whatever you have. You can work in your sketchbook if you want to instead. Um, that's up to you. I'm always a uh, real loose about supplies. I want you to participate in the activity and the process and I don't want the supplies to be a limitation. So use what you have and um, we'll create this wonderful loving energy today. So since we're talking about love and loving energy, I want you to choose some colors that either speak to love for you or colors that maybe you really love. Um, so I'm gonna choose, I, I'm feeling like the warmth of love right now. So I think I'm gonna choose some warm colors, some pinks, reds, um, some yellows, oranges, and I just am in the mood to work in that warm, loving uh, color tone. But if you love the cool colors, if you love your purples and your blues, and you really wanna work in those colors, by all means, choose different colors than me. That's totally up to you. And so for those of you that haven't done this, I encourage you to check out this video and create your own self-love magical medicine bag. And if you have done it, put this somewhere where you can see it, especially this month, our month of love, but put this somewhere where you can see it, even if it's just like on your desk or on your bedside so that you can check in with it in the morning or before you go to sleep and just see if any of these things have shown up in your life. Um, and if they haven't, make a promise to yourself to seek some of this joy out. You know these things bring you joy, so make yourself a little promise to, um, to seek some of these things out and just love on yourself a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna get started. So today we are talking about loving energy. And I have a couple of quotes here, let's see. This one's from Buddha. It says, you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. And it goes on to say here, like you were not taught or encouraged to love yourself unconditionally. Um, you know, we are, we're really not, or it's not really something that is talked a lot about, about, and I know that for me personally growing up, I think I felt, um, a little more like it was selfish or narcissistic if I spent too much time thinking about what I wanted or what I desired or what I loved and, and did more of that. Um, I know sometimes I, I kind of tried to do those things for myself and maybe kicking and screaming a little bit like, this is what I want, this is what I want to do. And it was never taken as a encouragement like good for you for knowing what you want instead it's usually looked upon as like uh you know settle down <laughs> just like, it's not all about you and so um so i feel like somewhere along the way we get uncomfortable with the idea of focusing on ourselves and uncomfortable with the idea of um choosing things that we want and desire and we love and instead we put other people first or we you know let other people make the decisions because we don't want to rock the boat um, and we we kind of little by little lose a little bit of that loving energy that we need to give ourselves um, <clears throat> and the other result is that you look for unconditional love 
out there and other places from other people instead of having it in here. And once you work on switching that and paying attention to how to love you and paying attention to you first and filling up your cup first, um, everything out there, it's just not as, um, I don't want to say important, but it's not as dramatic, I guess. Like if somebody uh, outside of me uh, doesn't agree with me or doesn't, you know, think about something in the same way, I don't take it as personal because I love me and my cup is all full and I'm good and I'm great here. And if that's what they want to do, um, they can go do that over there and it's not going to affect me. And that is super huge. Uh, and it's the same thing with just the fact of you're always looking for other people to love you, to feel okay and worthy in yourself. And when you spend time really working on loving who you are, you no longer need other people to validate you. Um, that's really, really huge. Uh, yeah, it feels good. And it's just, it's just such a nice, peaceful way to live. And then I know sometimes when I'm not loving on myself, um, every little thing just feels like a mountain, you know, every little, every little jab or every little inconvenience gets larger and larger and larger. And that's because I haven't been paying attention to me. And when you are paying attention to yourself and you're doing little things to love on yourself, um, those things are not that big a deal anymore. You can roll with it a little bit more easily. You can roll with the flow of life because let's be honest, life as always has ups and downs and things getting thrown at us left and right. And the more you can be grounded and just roll with what's going on, the more peaceful and the more loving and the more joy you're gonna have in your life. Ride that wave, right? So before we get started, I always like to do a little meditation. So I think what we're gonna do here is a guided, very short little guided meditation. It's really just um, getting into your breath, closing your eyes, and I'm gonna read this little paragraph for you and hopefully that'll put us in a nice loving, a loving energy mood, okay? So we are gonna create the energy of self-love. So go ahead and close your eyes. Take in some nice deep breaths. I always like to take one deep breath in and clear out everything that's happened before. Another deep breath in and just be here right in this present moment. And for your last deep breath in, just let go of what's gonna happen here on the canvas and in the future. Just be ready to accept and love everything that shows up here on your canvas. So go ahead and keep your eyes closed. You could just return to normal breathing. And I'm gonna read the following meditation from the Book of Love and Creation by Paul Selig out loud before we begin our practice. I am in my love. Yes, I am worthy of love. And I understand now that the belief that I am not allowed to love myself is an act of fear and is the ego seeking to maintain jurisdiction of my light to prevent me from full realization of my divine self and all the wonder that it would bring to me. I am free of this fear as I say it. I am free, I am free, I am free, I am in my love. And if you want to repeat that with me, 
one more time. You can say it out loud or say it in your mind. I am free. I am free. I am free. I am in my love. All right, so now we're gonna take our loving energy to the canvas. We have a few little sketches that I did here that I'm gonna be um, working from. This one is your radiant heart. And so it's got a heart, it's got these radiating lines, and then it's got some mandala or pattern making on the inside. And quote, I am loving energy. And then this one is your love has wings. So you can do the heart just like we're doing up here. And if you want to, you can add in some wings. I'm probably gonna do this first, not necessarily the inside, but do like the outside. And then I might add some wings too. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna combine both of these ideas into one um, on the canvas today. I think that'll be a lot of fun. And then you can pick and choose what parts you like best. I'm just gonna start with a kind of medium sized round brush and I am going to move you guys over in front of the canvas a little bit more. I did take a pencil and just outline my space a little bit. If you wanna add wings, you should really hold your canvas in this direction. This is landscape direction. It's when the width is longer than the height. And this will allow you to add a heart in the center and have enough space to add some wings on the side. If you just wanna do the heart and not do the wings, then you can always flip it the other way and do it that direction too. So whichever one works for you. I'm just gonna put a dot in the center, a little circle. And I'm gonna take up a line above it and below. And then I'm gonna take a line out to each side. And then I'm gonna go up to each corner. And from the center, do it to the other side as well. So there we've got the start of our radiant heart energy. And now I'm gonna add some words. I'm gonna actually add, I am loving energy in each of these quadrants here. And I've said this before, I don't mind when words kind of don't fit. I'm just putting it here as my base layer, filling my meditation canvas with loving energy. The fact that I had to go like that is not a big deal. And then I'm gonna write, 
My love has wings. Not quite sure what that means exactly. Maybe it means something different to each of us, but I think it's a cute saying. Maybe it means that my love kind of goes out into the world, flies around, it's free to soar because I'm filling myself up with love that I'm freely able to give it to others. So I am loving energy. My love has wings. And now I just feel like I'm going to kind of come in here and just create some like radiating energy. I haven't changed color yet. Just still working with this pink, this hot pink. All right, so I have another like softer light pink on my palette, so maybe I will take some of the light pink and some of the hot pink and I'm gonna mix it together to make a color in between. Just like so. And now I think I'm just gonna add that in the center of these radiating lines too. smaller brush again and now I'm gonna draw 
a heart. So remember, this was our little center dot right here. And now I'm gonna use some red, nice darker color on top so that I can see the heart. Just put that heart right on top of my radiating lines. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of treat my heart similar to a mandala. A mandala is usually a circular shape that has a point in the middle and then patterns that are repeating on the outside. So I'm just gonna go and create another heart inside of this one, like that. So instead of a circle, I'm just gonna work with the heart shape. And I may do one small one right inside here. like so. Maybe that one will just get colored in. And then maybe this one will do some dots around. And you could do a different pattern. And then I'm gonna do some little zigzaggy lines in here. Just kind of triangle shaped up and down. Creating my radiant heart. And when you're working like this, when you go down to, I'm using, um, I don't know what size brush I'm using, but the smaller you go down in size, the thinner and more detailed your line is gonna be. And the larger you go up in size, the more it'll be kind of thick and a little bit more, uh, maybe not as easy to control is a good way to put it. So now I've got, oh, it kind of looks like one of those lace hearts that you sometimes see, right? With those little lacy patterns around it. Maybe too because I ended up with a red one.
So let me pull it up a little closer and just give you a look. Ooh. So now you have all these little bits and pieces in here that you can decide to do different colors if you want to, or leave some of the color coming through, but color some of them in, not all of them. That is a fun, And now you can start to expand it again if you wanted to. I know I want to put some wings in, so I don't know if I want to expand it too much more, but maybe I'll go just a little bit out, one more outside. Just expand it just a little bit more. But if you weren't interested in doing wings, you could even just keep expanding until it goes completely off your canvas. Or you can stop here and focus on your radiating lines. I like to give suggestions, but let you choose your own path. I always loved those books when I was a kid, the choose your own choose your own journey books. I would read those over and over and over. I thought it was so neat that you'd be able to choose a different path and see what happens. <laughs> Maybe even back then I was interested in being like interactive, you know, um, while I love books where you just read them too, I really liked the interaction of being able to choose my own way. Oh good, you'll definitely hang with me, awesome. <laughs> And then here I can do like little, I don't know, little bumpies, or you can do lines. I think I'll do these little. Now it's really starting to look like one of those lace hearts or doily hearts maybe. And just remind everybody, whatever you're working on, just love it no matter what, however it looks. If it's headed in the direction you wanted or it's not, that's okay. You're just going to love it and love it and love it. Radical love. Because at the end of the day, it's just paint, it's just canvas. We don't have to get worked up about it, right? We just have to love, love what we're doing.
So when I'm at this stage of the game, and I'm just sort of laying things out, um, you can see how the wings just sort of fade into the background. So you wanna add contrast. You wanna add something behind or next to the area that you're trying to pull out and see a little bit better. So now is a good time to introduce a new color that you haven't used yet to bring some contrast to that area. And so far, I've just been using a very dry brush. I haven't been picking up a lot of water. Dry brushes are good when you want to like blend, um, kind of fan out the color so it gets a little less and less. Right, so I got a bunch of this orange down. And now I'm probably gonna mix a little white with my orange to create a very light buttery color. And I'm just gonna kind of add in. It's almost went to the yellow side actually. Just gonna reinforce some of my radiant lines with that lighter orange, lighter orangey yellow. It's helpful when you've got a dark color in the back to add a little bit of a lighter color as your accent on top, kind of makes it pop. And then I might pick up a little hot pink again and just kind of poke that in there. Maybe filling in any areas. Again, my brush has been very dry, so they're just sort of blending together with what was there. I love this hot pink. It's just a very, very simple craft paint in neon pink. Usually I find the neon colors are very transparent, meaning you can see, um, see through them very well. So they're a nice color to add on top of stuff where you wanna still see what's below it.
Now I'm gonna try this. The fun thing with paint, one of my favorite things really, and why I love this medium so much, is it's so forgiving. You can experiment. There's a lot of what happens if I do this? And you know, if you don't like it, you just go back, let it dry and go back to the color or the shape or the whatever you had before you did that thing. It's just super, super forgiving, especially acrylic paint because it really just has to dry and you can go right over it again. I just love that. I'm going to come back with some white and just brighten up my wings a little bit. And now it's got all that fun color. It's funny how on this side of the canvas, my hand does a different motion. than on this side. <laughs> and then just adding a little bit of white. I don't want to cover up all the color that's back there, but I want to add a little bit of white. Let me just come back with a little bit of white here too. Just really pulling out that energy. One tip if you are working with transparent colors like the neon or, or lots of yellows are very transparent where you see the background is you can do some white and then do yellow or your transparent color on top of those white lines and you'll be able to see them without them getting lost into the background. I actually think what I'm probably going to do is come back to it with a paint marker like these. Um, these are called Posca paint markers, but you can get Sharpie ones as well, or you can even just use a regular Sharpie or some gel pens, things like that can go on top. So I'm gonna let this dry, and then I may just come back with um, some detail with the paint markers uh, to play with it a little bit more. And I'll give you guys a little closer look what's going on here. For my Radiant Heart, that has wings, my love has wings. And I am loving energy. You are welcome to add any of those things to your canvas as well, um, even after you've painted over them. If you decide you wanna add some words around the heart or add some words in the wings here, or even just somewhere on the bottom, you can do that as well. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you had a fun paint along. I know that um, I thought it was really great to just sit here and focus on our loving energy for a little while, focus on our loving energy for ourselves, and then fill our own cup in a way that we're able to let our love fly, let it go out there, have wings, and bring love and joy to others with ease. I'll catch you in the group. Share with me um, if you've done any drawings or paintings from today's video or even any of my previous videos. Please share. Love to see it. 
feels good. I just love seeing more and more people out there creating in this world. It's just good juju, good energy um, that I want to encourage. So lots of love. Until next time. Bye, everybody.